I did go out and get food. I got a couple pears. I got some baked beans, a staple. And I got some eggs, but I just, I kind of cracked them in a bowl. And then just ate the egg whites raw. And I'm uh, just trying to keep up my protein, you know, <laughs> that luxury life. I am adaptable. But um, this food isn't that good, <laughs> to be honest. Fucking hell, okay. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have caught the vibe yet, but I'm really just winging it. And you gotta laugh at these things because it's funny. I have to leave this hostel in a day and I don't have an Airbnb booked yet because they keep fucking me around. Um, it's expensive in Melbourne to get an Airbnb, by the way. And it's very last minute, so um, I might be screwed here. Fortunately, I got water, so we can stay in here at least. Two days. Uh, diary entry done. There's a fluorescent fl 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 light right here, and I I hate fluorescent lights. They make me like ten more times sad. Yes, I cried in a closet last night, <laughs> alone. But I had a pillow, <laughs> so it's okay. Okay, I'm gonna dethaw my beans, maybe. I'll just leave them right here. And at least the construction outside stopped. It started very, very early in the morning and went on all day. It was very loud. It's right outside my door, my window. See? That's like the elevator that goes up and down and up and down over and over again. Yeah, so that was going on the entire day. If you're retard, if you're really stupid or traveling like I am, these are the realities. I don't want to eat those two eggs in there. I want food. It's unbelievable. I filmed directly after I like wake up. So it's like authentic. <laughs> no one wants to see that. Oh, I haven't talked for a while. <laughs> Another day in Melbourne, Australia. The guy outside that was crazy went on basically a whole night like that on and off. So pretty sure he lives here or he, nobody cared. <laughs> I hate having to like, get dressed and put shoes on and stuff just to go and get a shower. So I just procrastinate the whole morning and just... <laughs> I'm gonna try to go to the gym again because that was good for me. Unfortunately, 
I got uh, a last minute Airbnb. It was a bit more pricey than I wanted to pay, but I had no other choice. I'll check in with you probably whenever I move into my Airbnb tomorrow. Okay, uh, good morning. I'll see you in the next day. Gotta keep to the sides, keep to the sides. I'm not spending, I'm not spending like $9 a month Uber when I don't have to. It's gonna be a rainy walk. You know how I always say that thing where I am? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> what am I doing? Okay, so I'm in this basement room. I booked it for two weeks and it smells really bad. We're, we're gonna make it work. Like we're totally gonna make it work. It's fine. It's fine. I can do handstands on the wall. It's a good solid wall. In the pictures, it looks quirky and cool. Now, in real life, it doesn't look that quirky. It, it just looks like a basement room, like a, maybe a, like a dungeon, like a dungeon room. Like a, <laughs> you, you, I'm gonna lock you in here. There may be torture involved. <laughs> It's raining a lot. I got really soaked. That was a bad idea. It was a really long walk. I went the wrong way. Everything's wet. This is what we're this is what we're dealing with. It's my fault. I procrastinated because I was stressed out and moving around. Like I'm not lying. This place is sketchy. Yet. Maybe I do procrastinate, but I do feel that's kind of cool looking though. Hey, welcome to my dungeon. Come on in. Here's the scale to weigh yourself. That's the only amenity we have here. Do you like the dusty blinds? They're metal to add to the dungeon-esque effect. It's an adventure. This is an adventure. We see the good things in things, okay? This is what we're doing. This is life. This is how things go for me. Got my keys. Here. Do you know where the shower, like the shower room is? Oh, we've got two upstairs and there's one outside. Oh, one outside? Oh, yes. cool. What? I prefer the ones upstairs. Okay, so this is the laundry room. I'm seeing the shower rooms over here. It's really wet aggro, so people are always freaked out by me. I barge in, I'm like, hey, where's the shower? This establishment, <laughs> I live right in the dungeon. He's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Nobody knows what I'm talking about. Like. They wouldn't know that. Okay, I need to stop talking. Yes! Like in my own room. Like, no one's gonna come out here. Why would they? Uh, <laughs> I make a lot of videos about me just like struggling to find my accommodation. <laughs> that's literally all I make. Maybe that's my new thing. Uh, welcome to Melbourne. You can't see it. But this is important to me a desk. This is good. And then this is my handstand wall. I can already know that. And then I have lights options, which is good too, because I hate with a passion is overhead lighting. Turn off this light. You walk in and the uh, strain, the deranged, lonely writer is writing away. Sorry that no one will ever read because they died before the finish it. This is their cove. Some people say like, it looks really sad the way you travel. <laughs> No, it's not. <laughs> but yes, Melbourne, I find, is a very cool city so far. It's not going to stop raining, and I don't have an umbrella, because it's Australia. I didn't think that it rained here. You guys are sneaky. Oh, gosh. Stop calling me. I have this bill collector people calling me every day, three times a day. They call me, let's be real, a hundred times more than my mother does. I have to call my mother. But I'm not paying them. This could be worth a lot. This could be like a love hotel dungeon themed room. Minus the love. It's not the thing. <sighs> I'm gonna leave you guys with this and I will see you in the next video. I love you very much. Sex terrestrial. Yeah, okay, bye.